So this is gonna be a quick video about the 10 best mediocre pens. What do I mean by that? These are pens that are kind of middle of the road, not in any way great, but they're very good at being okay. These are uh, pens unlike the Hi-Tech C, which is not expensive, but it's a great pen. At what it does, it's pretty much unparalleled. The Zebra F701 is not a mediocre pen. It's a great pen, even though it costs maybe uh, eight or nine dollars. It's uh, got a full metal body, it writes really nicely, easily upgradable. Not affordable, sorry, not expensive, but definitely a great pen. Now we're gonna get into the best mediocre pens. These are pens that are not particularly exceptional, and there's usually a pen that's better than it at what it does, but just because something is better than it doesn't mean it's not worthy of being recognized for being the best at being mediocre. We're gonna start off with this Jetstream. I believe this is a Jetstream color series, uh, though all the Jetstreams are more or less the same. Uh, these pens cost about you know two bucks, something like that. It's a nice clicker, writes really nicely, comes in a whole lot of different colors, has a good grip section, and uh, it's just a nice pen to have day to day, but it is not as good as the Pilot G2 or the Zebra Sarasa. So that means it's a very good, mediocre pen. Next up, we have a bit of a rarity. This is the Sakura Ball Sign 0.4 millimeter. This uh, pen has an interesting shape, kind of heavy at the bottom with this tiny little clip, but it has a really cool click action. Just feels really nice and interesting in your hand. The, uh, it has a weird refill, so you can't upgrade the body. So between the weak aesthetics and the uh, difficulty to upgrade, uh, I would say this is a very good mediocre pen. This is a Jetstream 101. I like this pen because it's a smooth writing 1.0 millimeter pen, but it uh, the body has a sort of grippy area that always looks a little greasy, and uh, the pen is just a little bit boring. So even though it is good at what it does, there are better 1.0 millimeter ballpoints out there, as I revealed in a video a few days ago. I think this, uh, I believe this is a Pentel, sorry, a Pilot, Acroball 0.7 millimeter is the perfect example of one of the best mediocre pens out there. Just like the Jetstream, it's actually it writes fairly nicely, uh, surprisingly smooth, even though it has a relatively small 0.7 millimeter tip. Uh, pretty nice grip area, comes in a few different colors, although the styling is unexceptional, but unexceptional. But while this pen is hard to say anything specifically wrong with it. It's just not a great pen. If you get a Pilot G2 or something like that, you're gonna be happier with that. But again, it's a good pen. It's another good example. This is the Zebra Zemulsion EX. It's a good 1.0 millimeter gel pen. It writes nicely, uh, poor styling, and uh, I can't really say there's too much wrong with this pen aside from it looking kind of strange and not really, I don't really like the grip area. I also don't like the this stamped metal clip does not work very well. It has sort of sharp edges. So uh, while this pen works well and it writes surprisingly nicely, it is uh, in no way exceptional. There's a lot better stuff out there. So really strong, mediocre pen. This is the Zebra F402. A lot of people know this as being a worse version or a cheaper version of the F701 but you can buy three of these for under 10 bucks and it's a solid, rugged pen. It actually writes fairly nicely. So uh, as far as like an everyday EDC pen, it's uh, one of the best mediocre ones out there. But you're probably better off getting the F701 for just a few dollars more. Here's another great mediocre pen. This is the Pentel Vicuna. This pen looks like it's something you'd buy at the supermarket, but it has a really nice uh, ink to it. It writes really smoothly. So I can't really take anything away from this pen, except it you know, looks like it's uh, no one really tried to design it. They just kind of just released a pen and it's fine and gray and has some grip maybe, but uh, it writes nicely and it does its job and it's affordable. 
Here's an interesting choice, at least I thought it was an interesting choice. This is the Pilot G6. I'm a huge fan of the Pilot G2 and the G Knock and that whole line. But the G6 gets that great cartridge and puts it in this kind of strange looking body. It looks like a G2 that got stung by some bees or something like that. So uh, while I really like the Pilot G series, the Pilot G6 is relegated to the stack of great mediocre pens. Really writes nicely, but I think the, uh, the styling is really lackluster and it's kind of a shame. This is the Jetstream 101. Uh, this is another one of those Jetstream pens. I actually ri like writing with this one. It has some interesting architecture here. And uh, the styling is probably not quite as nice as the other Jetstreams, but this is a definitely interesting pen. I don't think it writes quite as nicely as some of the other one that oh millimeter ballpoints out there, but it's a pretty good pen and it's uh, something I would keep on my desk, but not something I would be excited to use. Last in the line of the 10 best mediocre pens is the Pilot High Tech C uh, Mayaka. Mayaka? I'm not quite sure how to say this. M A I C A. And what this is, is a restyled version of the wonderful High Tech C. Same cartridge inside, a lot of the parts are the same, but they over designed the exterior. So now you lost your clip, you get this little thing, which I guess is for hanging some sort of rope or attachment to, it's not really clear. The body is uh, shiny now, it's a little bit larger. It lost its angles. Again, so this is like, they got something that was pretty perfect, although like kind of like old school design. They changed the design so it's a lot fancier, but they didn't improve the pen at all. In fact, in a lot of ways, I think this is the worst, a worse pen. So uh, whereas this is a great pen and it's uh, not afraid to be what it is, this pen is over-designed and more expensive and it doesn't really deliver on the new design. And the lack of a clip is really unforgivable. So uh, I would say this is a very good pen, but definitely a mediocre pen. So those are the 10 best mediocre pens. If you have any thoughts or feedback, please let me know. I thought this was an interesting concept and uh, I want to see if people thought the same. Thanks for watching.